MacArthur Middle School and the Quest for the Perfect Pollen. Reproduction in flowering plants involves pollination, the transfer of pollen from one flower to another. Plants in Oklahoma use wind and animals for pollination. To use wind, a plant must flower before it gets leaves and get its flower high into the wind. However, our story is about sex. Yes, good old plant sex. Our story is like any other story. How does a boy plant fit together with a nice girl plant? How do they plant build a family of little buds that the species will be proud of? The good old fashioned way. Call in the matchmakers, the pollinators, who will fly or crawl from one plant to another in search of the perfect pollen. So how did we join this quest for the perfect pollen? Our journey began at Cameron University where we learned the benefits of, poll of insect pollination, the flowers that they were busy, what insects would be attracted to, what rewards the flowers would give. We moved our quest to the Wichita Mountains. After observing several species of flowers, we started counting the insects on white top daisies, wild potato vine, the lead plant, and the Mexican hat. The Mexican hat had the most visits of the day with 74 total insect visits. Coleoptera the beetle was the pollinator making the most visits of the day. Mohamedanta, the bee, is attracted to strong colors like blue, purple, and yellow. They like a strong scent with nectar as a reward and they need a landing pad shaped wasp to land on. The colonoptera, the beetle, is attracted to green or white wasps with a strong scent. The terra, the fly, is attracted to light colors and they prefer a flat landing pad with nectar as a reward. The pedoptera, the butterfly, is attracted to bright reds and they need nectar as a reward. They need tubular blossoms with a landing Area. After making observations at the Wichita Mountains for two days, we questioned, would the same insects in eastern Oklahoma be in search of pollen on the same species of flowers that had already been observed in western Oklahoma? After making a trip to Beaver's Bend Park, we camped along the Middle Mountain Fork River collected data on insects at Little River Park, and hiked along David Bourne Trail. At Little River Park, observations were made on white top daisies, mallow poppy, echinacea cornflower, and garden tick seed. Most visits were made to echinacea cornflowers by Hymenoptera B, making the most visits. Each stop along the quest for the perfect pollen, we were privileged to explore Oklahoma's bountiful wildflowers and abundant pollinators. Although we did not find one perfect pollen, we did find that for most pollinators, it's a matter of taste. The perfect pollen is always out there waiting to be found. That's why every flower still offers itself to the pollinators with the promise of reward. We ended our search with a float down the Mountain Fork River, south of Broken Bow Lake, with appreciation for what we have learned.